Hello and welcome to everyone. I am Desh Deepak and today in this video session we will be learning about AWS EC2 EBS volume configuration setups. So as you can see in my screen today we will be talking about these three points and we will be doing real time demonstration so that things get uh, pretty much clearer at our ends. And so, so as moving forward if we look into the third part uh, that says removal of the EBS volume from one EC2 instance and attaching it to another EC2 instance without losing data. So uh, for the explanation of this point let's take an example saying that you have an EC2 instance uh, that has an EBS volume of uh, 20 GB and uh, that has uh, an extra EC2 EBS volume. Uh, that consists of the data inside it and now we want to remove that external uh, EBS volume and attach it to some other EC2 instance uh, without losing that data. So we'll be looking into that example also. So let's move towards the demo part so that things get uh, more clearer at our ends. The third one that is uh, removal of the EBS volume from one EC2 instance and attaching it to another EC2 instance without losing data. So we can use this same volume that is uh, let's say we have created an EBS volume uh, currently that is uh, or we can say recently that is a new volume and we have uh, inside that uh, uh, 50 GB of EBS volume we have mounted that into a path MNT new volume and we have created this uh, folders over here that is txt1.txt test2.txt and AWS directory and let's uh, use this uh, uh, new volume or we can say that is 50 GB of EBS volume to another EC2 instance and see if this uh, data that we have created inside uh, AWS or we can say demo2 server is available in the demo3 server also or not. So for this uh, we need to unmount it so that we can deattach it from the existing or running EC2 instance. So we first need to unmount it from this point then only we can detach it so let's uh, detach it so the command for detaching the mounted EBS volume is sudo umount and the path where it uh, resides or we can give the device name also so our device name was dev and xvdf yes okay so this simply says the target is busy because we are inside our uh, folder only that is mnt slash uh, new volume so let's me get out of over here and again hit the command okay so as as the device was saying that uh, the target is busy so i have used this command that is u mind dash l slash dev slash xbd to remove this error message and uh, I have hit that command uh, and uh, the device has been unmounted and let's check if it's uh, unmounted or not df dash and yes we can see that there is no any uh, trail of the 50 GB of device so let's confirm that by running lsbl command and we can see that xbdf 50 GB disk has been unmounted and the mount path is empty over here. So yes, uh, we have unmounted our path and for the third cut uh, you have uh, removed or unmounted the uh, EBS volume that we have attached uh, previously in the demo 2 and that uh, EBS volume also contains a specific data. Uh, we have a created a directory called AWS and two files test1.txt and text2.txt where TX test1.txt also contains certain contents inside it. So let's uh, attach that uh, external EBS volume with the data into the uh, newer EB EC2 instance and see if that uh, data uh, uh, is present uh, over here there also or not uh, after attaching that external volume to the EC2 instance. Oh, so we'll see if the data is lost or data is present over here. 
so yes uh, unmounted that new volume from the demo to server and uh, I will click on actions and I can see uh, the details volume so I think the volume has been detached already and if I refresh it multiple times okay so it's not detached it is still saying that it's in in use state uh, but it's uh, detached volume option is not showing over here so let me hard refresh it and it's still saying in use so let me force detach the volume click on S and let me refresh it it shows that the volume is in available state and yes let's move to the demo 3 so we'll be attaching this new volume to demo 3 server and we'll see that the data that we have written to the new volume in the demo 2 uh, is present a, uh, in the demo 3 server inside that demo 3 server or not so let's SSH into the demo 3 server let me exit from here ok so let me clear my screen and uh, yes put my IP address of the demo 3 server and click enter and click on yes yes I am inside my demo 3 server and if I click on LSBL key I can see that I have currently 8 GB of the root volume only and if I hit this command also it will also say that I have only the uh, 8 GB of the volume attached to our file system so there is nothing of external volume of any sort of volumes available over here so let me clear my screen and uh, uh, go to my volume sections and attach this new volume to yes to the third that is demo 3 server let, let me choose yes that is demo 3 server and let me uh, give the device name as default and click on attach and it's in use state this simply means that our device is in process of attaching to the demo tree server and click on and if we see the state is in use and the action has been completed and if I go into the server and again lsblk and now we can see that yes the 50 GB of disk is been available but it is uh, not mounted to the mount point so uh, we'll be uh, configuring or typing the configurations to mount it to a specific folder and uh, looking into if the data resides inside it or not so let's see if it contains any sort of data or not so for that we'll use the command sudo file dashes and the path name of the or we can say device name of the external device that is a 50 GB VS volume that is div slash xvdf and click on enter so before it was saying data related some sort of uh, in output that simply means there were no data but now we can see that its file system is ext4 file system data and this simply means that there is some sort of files available inside it so yes now if the files are available over here that simply means that it is uh, 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 formatted to some sort of file system so the file system data is also showing over here that is the xt4 file system data so this simply means that we don't need to again uh, format it to any sort of uh, file system so this simply means that our file system has been f already formatted to ext4 type and now we simply need to create a directory and mount this uh, abs volume inside it and uh, see if uh, that uh, uh, provides us the data that we have saved in the demonstration part 2 or not so let's uh, create a folder inside this path only that is mnt and create a new folder let's say ok so let me create a directory so before we have created a new volume directory now create, create any sort of names let's create old volume 
or we can say yes old volume let me give this name and yes our volume has been created and if we go inside it currently there is no data inside it because the file system has not been mounted yet so we'll be mounting that file system inside this path so we'll hit the command sudo mount and the device name that is dev slash xvdf that is present over here so nothing to confuse about over here and yes in the folder where we want to hit this one that is slash mnt slash old volume and let's click enter and if that doesn't give any sort of uh, error message that simply means that it has been mounted to that point let's check ls blk and we can see that yes our external volume has been mounted to mnt old volume and if we click on def h and we here also we can see that our df slash xbdf has been mounted to mnt old volume so let's check the real thing over here that is the data that we have uh, kept over uh, inside that file system or inside that storage is present or not so let's okay let's go inside that path that is mnt and old volume enter and let's say ls and we can see that all the data that we have that were present in the process of uh, uh, of attaching this volume in the demonstration part two all the files are present over here that is aws directory plus plus found folder test1.txt test2.txt but uh, let's check that we have written some sort of content inside test1.txt if it's available or not sudo cat test1.txt and enter and we can see that this is a text file this was the content that we have written inside it okay so this simply means that uh, our uh, data or uh, any sort of data that is residing in the secondary storage can be deattached and attached to any sort of uh, related EVS volumes or EC2 instances in an specific uh, availability zone. So this also ends our third demonstration. So in the third demonstration we have uh, removed the EVS volume of the one EC2 instance and attached that EVS volume to another EC2 instance without losing the data. So all of your data were available. So we have completed all of our three demonstration parts. So as per looking into them, these parts are pretty much of uh, data intensive. So in case you are specifying or uh, deploying any sort of applications and uh, data related to applications in AWS cloud and on the EC2 server, then uh, you, you guys can use this sort of uh, commands to play with around the data or EBS volume and uh, and and in in case your ebs volumes gets corrupted or uh, gets any sort of uh, issues comes into your ec2 instance then you can simply detach your ebs volumes and uh, attach it to another ec2 instances and then copy all of your data uh, into a local machine or into any sort of uh, uh, storage uh, options so th that's pretty much of cool so we have completed uh, this setup and our demonstration has been also completed. So I think uh, you guys enjoyed this session and uh, this, this session was useful to you. So thank you. Thank you all of you for watching this session and uh, we'll meet soon.